I see a lot of people with determination and obviously I think have been affected by cancer and I just applaud them. It's, you know, it definitely hits the heart strong. Well, I'm riding for my sister because she's a cancer survivor and both of our parents we lost at a very young age to cancer. I am a uh, cancer survivor, a lymphoma cancer survivor, and uh, it's uh, very important to me to get back. Once my sister was diagnosed, I just saw firsthand what all of the money that is raised by all of us here does firsthand. Like it was very obvious the support that she had, and that just made my heart swell. And I thought, okay, okay, now this is this is the reason why I need to get get on this uh, wagon and start helping to fundraise. As a survivor, until you actually go through it, it just brings on a whole new meaning, but knowing I'm going to be helping myself and everybody else out in the future, it means the world. This is really about transforming cancer care at the QE2 and people giving back to the community to ensure that the one in two who are diagnosed in this province with cancer have the best possible treatment options at the QE2. There are thousands of different cancers out there. Not everyone's cancer is the same. Everyone is different. I treat gallbladder tumors or cholangiocarcinomas, um, and there's ones that can be in the gallbladder, ones that can be within the liver and can be just outside the liver. Traditionally, we treat them all the same, systemic chemotherapy. In the last several years, we've begun to realize from the genomics, or looking at the genes, that all three of them are different. They express genes differently, and in fact, we should probably be potentially treating them differently. So this year, the Ride for Cancer is going to be funding genetic sequencing technology right here at the QE2. It's a next generation sequencing machine. You take a piece of the tissue and you isolate the DNA from the tissue, and then the machine amplifies and sequences it and then it can look for mutations in the sequencing. And with this technology, we can start to narrow it down or do something what we call precision medicine, uh, tailoring treatments to patients, particularly their tumors, and target treatments that will work better for patients. I ride for my mom. She's been treated at the QE2. She's a 11-year breast cancer survivor, and uh, anything I can do to give back to the hospital is what I'm gonna do. Technology changes all the time, and anyone who has a computer right now knows that after several years, it's outdated. Ten years, you're, it's obsolete. Over time, you identify new mutations, there's new drugs. You have to be able to change with the time as well. The larger machines that look at many more mutations, you can uh, adjust it. Um, as new data comes out, new treatments come out to try to tailor it for your cancer patients. If we had the technology here, we would have access to things that we don't have access to right now. You're literally uprooting your whole family and moving to get access to a clinical trial, which is a huge burden to patients. So if we can get the clinical trials here, then the patients don't have to travel anywhere. They can come here. We need to start doing this. We have the expertise here. We have the patient population here. There is absolutely no reason why we cannot do this here. There are ways to defeat certain cancers, and this is part of it. This is our one way of beginning to identify better outcomes for patients and better treatments for patients. I'm a cancer survivor. Being a patient here um, and being a patient of the QE2 has been great because it's such a, an important organization that's helped me give back my life. And so I really see that in the value of what it's doing for all the people in our Atlantic communities. The fundraising amounts get bigger every year and we're all realizing that it is having an impact. The uh, camaraderie and friendship is also well worth it. I intend to keep doing it till I can't. Everybody out here is affected by cancer, and so it's really nice to know that your neighbor, your brother, your sister, your parents, your coworkers, your friends, we're all in this together. I feel that we're turning a corner here. You can see there's a passion from the QE2 and the QE2 Foundation to improve the care for cancer patients in the province. Doing events like this, it kind of makes you feel like you, you may have cancer, but it doesn't have you, that you are still somehow, you know, fighting the fight and, and winning. <laughs>